shine here for all of you on Top Rank Boxing on ESPN. Well, first of all, you're going to see the amateur pedigree and the technical prowess of Mason. You can see it right out the gate how controlled he is. And he told us in the fighter meetings yesterday that he's working on patience. That's what he want to work on. He says, you know, sometimes I can get a little bit inside myself and, you know, let shots go when I shouldn't have. You know, he said, I'm going to take my time and I'm going to set up. You know, he's going to set up his attack, starting off with his jab. Coming off of a second-round technical knockout up against Alex Doliveda. Before that, he went six rounds before stopping Desmond Lyons. Those were his first two fights of 2023, fighting for the third time this year. And that's what you want to see in a developing young fighter like Abdullah Mason. Mm -hmm. Activity and improvement. And he hasn't failed yet. Yeah, activity is, is important for a fighter. It's like, you know, it's like produce in a store. Think about it that way. It's like if you let a bread, some bread sit on the, the counter too long, it's going to get moldy. You let some food in the, in the refrigerator sitting there too long, what's going to happen? It's going to get spoiled. If you let a boxer sit too long, what happens? He gets rusty. You know, he doesn't, he's not acclimated to the ring anymore. He forgets about these bright lights and the pressure that goes with it. You got to stay busy and stay active. And you got to continue to sharpen your skills every time you step foot in that ring. And it's very different when you're doing it with headgear and big gloves in just sparring sessions because we have both seen, Tim, over the years, champions in the, in the gym, but under the bright lights, it all changes. Abdullah, he's ready for the bright lights and he wants that smoke just 19 years old you know that's hard to believe i'm not gonna lie that that's really hard to believe when you watch him in the way he controls the ring and dominates the center of the ring and just his reflexes and counter punching ability and everything he that comes along with them you know oh this young man look, look this young man has an opportunity to be a champion before he's able to even buy alcohol think about that <laughs> like a mike tyson i'm just saying yeah yeah two years from now this kid can be very well be a champion for his 21st birthday He's in a loaded, lightweight division, so he may have to wait his turn and deal with the politics as Villaraga lands a looping left hand. See, and those are the unexpected shots right there. You know, he thought he was clear, and, he, and, and you know, Villaraga was in a position to where it looks like he did. He wasn't going to throw a shot, but he just threw, a, just threw a shot, you know, out of nowhere, just kind of trying to protect himself, you know, and was able to land that shot. But Villaraga, I mean, he knows what he's here to do. You know, if you if you look at his record, look at his track record, I mean, this guy hasn't won a fight in seven years. <laughs> he hasn't won a fight in seven years, man. But he's here to make it rough and tough for well, Mason. He, he did upset Brandon Mendoza in impressive fashion. Mm, yeah, that was a nice right hand. Just, you know, right there. Yeah, yeah Raga just letting his hands go. Just let him go. Fly, let him fly. Something will eventually land. Another right hand lands for Via Raga. And it's interesting because Valiant, his father said, Abdullah, see that block wall? Set it up and finish. Well, it just so happens that Cesar Villarraga works construction installing blocks, <laughs> block walls. Wall, so <laughs> not funny. sure he knew that, but maybe he did. I don't Life know. coincidence. Stop, stop, breaks the back. Or is it a coincidence? Well, nice body work from Abdullah Mason. Villarraga making Mason work, which is good. Making that's, him think about that right hand, moving his feet. Look, that's exactly, I mean, Villarraga is, is, Villarraga is, is reactive. That's what he is. That's the word I was looking for. He's reactive. You know, a scared fighter is a dangerous fighter. I'm not going to lie. And I'm not saying he's scared. What I'm saying is he's just reactive, like he's almost scared. You know, he's, you know, he's making sure that he's protecting himself. When Mason lets some some offense off, he's making sure to punch back just so he can bag them off. So both fighters Ooh, landing good nice right hands. counter shots. The Yaraga with the rights and Abdullah with the lefts. So what you're seeing and the reason why Abdullah's getting hit with those shots is is that when he's throwing his shots, he's keeping his head directly centered. Mm. Okay? And admiring his work for just a brief moment. And he's not clearing the distance where you have Villaraga that's that's just letting his hands fly from position, and he's catching. He's catching uh, Mason. Straight left, can't miss from Mason, but the right hand is always active from Villaraga, and it's found a home on the young 19-year-old. 
See, that's what I mean by reactive right there from Villarraga. So what he did was he's just he's waiting, he's waiting, buying his time, then he's waiting on the young gun to, to let something go, and then he's reacting right after. Because he knows those are the moments that there's some vulnerability in Mason's game. There's yeah, that one there it two. is. Boom, nice. Nice one two. See, Mason got caught right there just trying to think. Sometimes you just gotta react. Nice body work from Mason with the left. We were talking about that precise concept of just being instinctual and not thinking in the ring with Nico Ali Walsh, who we'll see later on tonight and see if he can get closer to that in his return from what was the draw that was overturned by the Nevada State Athletic Commission due to an adverse test from his opponent. Easy. Wow. You know, Kosobuski is a, um, what I say, a, a pocket rocket. He likes to operate mid-range to inside. He's dangerous. He has short arms, and he's compact. And he doesn't load up his shots. They just come right from position, and they're heavy, heavy punches. But Yuraga just landed a nice looping overhand left. Oh, nice uppercut from Abdullah Mason, and he shook the Yuraga. Now he's going down to the body. So what you're seeing now is Mason has decided to step to Viaraga. He doesn't feel the punching power from him. He doesn't feel that he's strong enough. And so he's willing to take more chances. So when he's in the line of fire, he probably will get clipped more times than none. But he's looking to land his and get his off. Mason doing a better job of getting his head off the line here in round number three. As he presses Viaraga backwards. And I don't know that Viaraga's very comfortable stepping back. Nice left from Mason. He set it up perfectly off of a blinding jab. That body shot. Now, mm. See, now that's what I'm talking about. Now, those are precise shots right there from Mason. Nice setup, getting around the elbow of Villaraga to land that body shot. Now he's making Villaraga oh, miss cool. with a right. Get your arms out of there. Punch out. Punch out. Stop. Stop. Break. Right. Still there. You got your arm around him. So what you're seeing from some Mason, occasionally you'll see him react with offense, and then you will see his body, his top uh, upper part of his body. He'll he'll do a pull. Mm. You know, he'll pull his body back and get out of range. He appears to be in range, and then he pulls his body away, and then he tries to counter. It's a great move. Great move. But it's, it can be a dangerous one, too, if you don't do it at the right time, one. Also, if you drop your hands, and if a guy step in behind that pool, he can catch you with a shot. It's dangerous. And another guy that does it quite often is Jared Anderson. Mm. We saw him get caught by Charles Martin last time out. Low on the belt line there from Dola Mason. Those shots are good as he now focuses his work downstairs. Good angles on the inside by Bella Mason. Stop, break, stay back, stay back. Off his head. Five seconds. Miyaraka giving Abdullah Mason a solid Stop. test here in Tolstola. So that's what I would tell. I'm in there with a power puncher. You got to be careful. <laughs> you can't be making them same moves and habits. Creating habits for yourself, so. Yuraga made his pro debut in September of 2013. That means Abdullah Mason, which is nine years old. Abdullah just turned 19 recently. Nice left uppercut from Abdullah. Straight left. You see the quickness in that left hand, and the Yuraga answers with the overhand right. Mm, nice angle Ooh. taken right there from both guys. I mean, both guys are having some good moments in there. Dola definitely, Mason is definitely getting the better of it, but you know, Villaraga, he's, he's, he, he's no slouch. He's, he's in there, he's trying, I don't know, he's not, he don't look like he's trying to win, but what he's trying to do is he's trying to fight back. That's it. He's trying to fight back. He knows what he's here to do. He's here to test the young gun. He's not here to win. He's doing just that. Just enough. That's it. Just enough. Just Good enough right to now. keep 
Abdullah Mason honest, actually. That's it. And to and to uncover mm. some mistakes or flaws. Yeah. So the matchmakers can see and say, okay, he's not ready for that. Maybe we're going to put him in with that. Oh, nice body work from Abdullah Mason. Sitting on his punches. Take That's nothing for Half of Viraga's 10 victories have come by stoppage. 89% of Abdullah Mason's wins have come before the final bell. So there's levels of competition, and Viraga is a step up from what we've seen Mason in against before in that he's presenting a challenge. He's presenting different questions to be asked from Abdullah Mason, which he's figuring out as the rounds progress. Yes, which is good. This is great. You know, Dola, he needs more rounds. You know, he needs to go through more things in these rounds. He needs to see more. And that's what we're getting right here in this fight from Fioraga. We talked about the five-fight knockout streak. And sometimes, no matter what stage of your career you're in, you start to fall in love with seeing the guys power. go down. Oh, yeah. Oh, and you yeah. forget to set things up. Oh, oh, yeah. There's no doubt about it. And what you did in the last fight don't work in this fight. Absolutely. It's crazy, man. It really is. Ooh, Uraga setting up that right hand, and Mason just barely ducks out of the... Man, one of the things that I... What I learned from Manny Pacquiao was when I fought him the first mm -hmm. time was, dude, he fainted the hell out of me. <laughs> oh, my gosh. This dude throws so many, so many faints. Foot faints, head faints, hand faints. You know, and he kept me busy. Yeah. He kept me burning energy just trying to anticipate when he's going to attack. And I said, you know what? I'm bringing that to my game. I'm uh, faints. I'm going to throw a ton of faints. Mental pressure. Oh, my goodness. Yes, it is. Oh, Ooh, nice uppercut. That time, he got it right on the money. Caught him as he was coming forward with that beautiful uppercut. But Villaraga can sure take a punch here through yeah. the first five rounds against Abdullah Mason. Yeah, and, and Abdullah done it all. He's went to the head. He's also went to the body. I mean, he's trying to find the key, but he, he, um, the key is the liver. That's where the key is at, the liver. He got to find a way to get to that liver. Of Viraga. Viraga, the father of three Ooh, children. Right hand. Catching 15, them in. 11, and 4. He fights for them to have a better life, and that's what Abdullah Mason's up against. A man who works constructions in the heat of Southern California, then goes to the gym because he loves this. And so you got to break him down like Mason's trying to do there to the body. Need more body work, though. You know, I know I'm asking a lot, but. Got to need, need more body work. When you hit the guy, your best punch up top, you catch him flush, you hit him right on the chin, he don't go anywhere. Man, test, keep testing that body. Keep breaking him down. The process still isn't done. You have to keep working that body. Five excellent rounds of work being yes, provided is. for Abdullah Mason by Cesar Villarreal the next month. And you see Villarreal taking those body shots from Mason, who has now set his sights. I'm going downstairs against the Colombians. Nice. It's good work. But he's been a little bit, Mason's been a little bit more responsible in the inside. He's he's going one and twos, not threes and fours. He's trying to pay attention what's coming back now. Don't post, don't post it. What the referee know about posting? <laughs> hey, you can't just joust with that hand. You gotta use it as a jab or put it away. And now, let me tell you something else about feints. You know, uh, at the end of the last round, Mason, he did throw some feints. Stop, stop, break, and it was almost like step back, step back. Hands, hand feints. But Viaraka didn't, he didn't, he didn't bite because he, it was the wrong distance and he didn't believe it. You know, your feints, when you do it, you got to do it at a certain distance to where you're just outside that line of fire and you're close enough and you do it and then he reacts. You got to sell him. You got to sell it. Yes, sir. Love this work. I love this work by, by Abdullah, man. I really do. Love it. You know, he can take this. It's a, it's, it's a masterpiece. He can take this. And, and, and not in a way to where it was a spectacular performance, but what I'm saying is, is that this is the stuff that you need to go back home and get better. Need this type of work. Sometimes you got to grind out a win. Oh, yeah. And not just blast guys out. Yes. And this yeah. is valuable experience for Abdullah Mason, who came into this fight basically with a total of 23 rounds and nine fights he's going to leave here with 29 and 10 fights but this was a tough man in front of him in Villaraga at 37 years old 
not everybody's just going to lie down when you hit them with your best shot. Yeah, I mean, the, the, the matchmakers understand that, you know, it's important to test your young talent. You know, I, I think he needs an even better test than this, you know, moving forward. I mean, when you get test, I mean, it deepens your, your bag of experience, you know. And you find ways to have him to overcome, like he's doing right now. There's that flurry from Abdullah Mason trying to break down Figueroa. That's a great left hand as Figueroa tries to answer. But Mason is answering the call here in the sixth round. And see, you know, we hear that saying all the time that pressure, pressure, you know, is known to create diamonds. <laughs> but you know what pressure also is known to do? Plus pipes? No, hell no. What? Give you a stinky fart. Oh my <laughs> hey, he has to show. He has to show tonight, man. He has to show which one he is. Is he a stanky fart under that pressure, or guess what? Or oh, oh, he a diamond. 